when the world goes horribly sideways, when violent incidents of anti-Semitism are rapidly increasing in cities throughout the United States and across the globe. We need friends to stand with us against hate. What does anti-Semitism sound like today in 2021? Die Jew, death to Jews, dirty Jew. These are some of the shocking chants we've all read about in newspapers, seen on social media, and heard on the evening news. These are painful and trying times. During the two weeks of military conflict between Israel and the terrorist group Hamas, anti-Semitic incidents in the U.S. increased by 75%. Many people are not here because they're afraid to be here today. We understand these are scary times. So for those of you who had the courage to come here, thank you. We want to be sure that the world knows we will not tolerate hate against any group and we will not tolerate hate against Jewish people here in Miami-Dade County. We will always stand up and fight against hate. And we will always stand up and support Israel, not just today, but every day. We will not remain silent. We will not succumb to fear. And today, we commit towards the collective work of redemption, tikkun olam. This wave of anti-Semitism didn't start this week. It's been happening for years, but it's getting worse and worse. So what are we gonna do about it? We must unite, not just in word, but in deed. Political differences must fall by the wayside. We must fight, fight for the truth. We must not allow our enemies to divide or define us. We must fight for our place in this amazing country, the United States of America. But we must always also remember to fight for our Jewish homeland, the state of Israel, and her place in the world. Inaction is not acceptable. We will prevail wearing a kippah and our star of David. No hate, no fear, I'm Israel Khan. We are truly blessed to have among us tonight Holocaust survivors. I stand here in their name and give voice to their anguish as they are forced to see the re-emergence of this vile hatred once again in their lifetime. I am dismayed at the need for such an event yet again especially in this place, commemorating the ultimate act of anti-Semitism. We must act, doing everything possible to remind the perpetrators of the utter immorality, the sin of anti-Semitism. We stand here before a memorial to those denials so that we do not have to build any more such memorials. Our program today fills me with hope because it demonstrated that fighting anti-Semitism is not just a concern of the Jewish people, it's a concern of good people of all faiths. Today, during a time of a global pandemic that has unmasked some of the inequities of our world, we need to remind ourselves that we are, in fact, all brothers and sisters, overcoming all divisions and exclusions, see ourselves as part of an ever wider we. Last week, the Miami Heat released a statement starting with the words, enough with hate. It is time to lift ourselves above all of this and show the love we have for each other together. We owe it to us to mend this divide. You're here, you're loud. You're asking those that you've stood for to stand for you today. But today is the day where we need to ask for the entire community to stand away from fear and stand in love. We're inspired by a fire that cannot be put out. We're inspired by principles of justice, principles of faith, and principles of hope. And I learned something about hope. I hope I say it right, but Hatika. We stand on that, and I want you to know that we have more in common than we have different. We're with you. Standing shoulder to shoulder with my Jewish brothers and sisters tonight. I need you all to repeat after me. We are stronger than hate. We rely on our unity. We rely on our solidarity. We rely on our friends and thank those of you who are here.